My top five favorite roaches that I found in my gaming room. But this Mac, I don't know what's growing in it. What is that? Cleaning my room because my parents are gonna kick me out. Well, we're back. You know, you'd think that hundreds of thousands of people on the internet publicly shaming you for your disgusting habits might be a slight catalyst for change, but uh, I guess not. About a month ago, I made a video on the TikToker slash streamer pal Envy who went viral for never cleaning his room. We looked at a few of his videos that showed his room to be roach infested covered in old rotten food there were stains and mold patches everywhere it was uh Yucky. Now, I was not the only YouTuber to talk about him. Many content creators covered this guy as well. And as I'm sure you can probably imagine, not a whole lot of people were exactly uh, supportive of his lifestyle. Now, uh, I'm not sure about you guys, but I feel like if millions upon millions of people started talking about me on the internet, and the general consensus was that I was a disgusting individual, I feel like even if I didn't want to, I would be embarrassed into changing, if not just forced into not posting on TikTok anymore. But some people are just built differently, and I guess Pow Envy is a part of that group, because instead of conforming to these insane societal standards of keeping your room clean and trying to keep cockroaches out of your living space, he's decided to take it in stride and build even further his entire internet personality around being gross, as you're gonna see today from some of his recent TikToks, where it's just all gotten so much worse. If you are eating right now, I would recommend you put it down or finish it real quick before continuing, because it's about to get bad. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Cleaning my room because my mom made me. After she gave me some sass about my room being dirty, I decided I'd clean it up or she might kick me out. So I got some Vienna sausage and some ramen to snack on to give me nutrients. Got some of this trash out. That's an old enchilada. That is some ramen. And this is some salmon. Salmon does make your room smell, so it's good to take it down soon. All right, so I don't know if his parents are in on this, if it's some sort of weird social experiment, some elaborate joke. But if my parents found my room like this when I lived with them, especially at this guy's age, I think they would have lit me on fire. Once again, like I said, I don't know if this is a joke or not, but if it isn't, I feel like we are seeing why this guy lives like this. It's because his parents let him. This guy looks to be at least 17 or 18. If he's living like this now, now, he was definitely living like this when he was younger. If he didn't have guidance from his parents, I'm not really sure the blame's on him. If you let your kid live like this under your roof, you are to blame. This stain, I tried my best, but I couldn't get out. Looks like the coffee is here to stay. All right, buddy, I don't know who you think you're fooling, but this is not how coffee spills. This looks like you popped a squat next to your gaming chair and released some explosive diarrhea straight into that carpet. I mean, this looks like a meteor hits your bedroom floor. There's an impact zone. This is what killed the dinosaurs. This banana's gotta get taken down. I used my finger to like lick it up like pudding and it just wasn't very good. This Twix has to be thrown out. It's just no good anymore. These Takis that I guess I didn't finish got to go too. This Coke, which I don't know why I didn't finish. I love Coke. Anyway, this sandwich was too hard on my teeth. My teeth are pretty soft. I have brittle teeth. So that was no good. Oops. Another not so great thing I'm noticing apart from this room just being absolutely disgusting, obviously, is that this guy wastes a ton of food. I mean, most of this stuff is not even half eaten or quarter eaten or like a tenth eaten. Neither that banana nor that sandwich had a full bite taken out of it. And then it's just thrown to the floor to go bad. Like, I get this guy is trying to play this up as a character. If you watch him stream, he talks differently. His mannerisms are different. But that's all the character is, the voice and the manner of speech. These disgusting habits are real. So it really Really confuses me why people follow this guy and support him how do you support this um my roach trap is doing good that little bean shaped thing is an egg sack so you can see all the babies came out of it um not all of them got in the glue trap though so i gotta look out for those but anyway we're about done cleaning i got most of the left side cleaned up looks good the right side i'm gonna have to clean up another time maybe tomorrow i don't know i'm just you know it's a lot of work so the desk is also i took a lot of the stuff off so we're looking good Thanks for watching me clean my room, guys. I feel like videos like this really highlight how social media has changed, especially with the introduction of TikTok. I mean, people focusing on and being fascinated by people doing stupid and gross things is nothing new. What I'm talking about is like this specific content loop that I've seen a lot of TikTokers get stuck in. It's these content creators who have videos go viral, and then instead of just continuing to make their normal content, letting that viral video bring more people to it, they make that video that went viral over and over 
and over and over again. Like this guy. Ever since he went viral, all he's done is make videos where he says, I'm gonna clean my room, I pick up two things, it's really dirty, look at these roaches. Okay guys, thanks for watching me clean my room. It's like that guy who went viral for having the drone fly around him while doing that hip dance. There's so many people on TikTok who have built an entire following on doing the exact same thing every single day. And look, I'm not trying to hate on these people, you do whatever you want in your free time. I'm more concerned about their audience. Like, what is going on that people want to watch somebody do the exact same thing every day? I just don't get it. Like, it used to be that content creators found a general niche. Now it feels like they find one specific thing that they do until they lose relevancy. I mean, I just don't get it. Is the general population getting dumber? I mean, extrapolate this to any other content creator. It's like watching the lock-picking lawyer pick the same lock every single day for 10 years. Why do people on TikTok like this? My top five favorite roaches that I found in my gaming room. Starting us off at number five is this little fella who watched Star Wars with me. Number four has to be this guy who I found underneath my toaster oven. I did have to annihilate him with my Thor power fingers, but it's okay. I'll still miss him. All right, call me a baby, call me a clean freak. I don't really care. Once you get to the point where you're comfortable squishing roaches with your bare hands, you're a lost cause. I mean, we've seen this guy's house. He could easily hire an exterminator. I don't think they're struggling for money over there. This family, this guy, whatever this weird living situation is, they are purposefully keeping roaches in their house for TikTok content. I mean, if that's not rock bottom, I don't know what is. This little guy is number three. He was so energetic and lively. He was really fun to play around with. Found him in my bathroom. A special honor is this guy who died. Um, rest in peace the goat. I don't know what killed him, but that sucks. Uh, next up will be number two. It's going to be this guy who is trying to drink my coffee, which I just think is so cool. I would love to share a coffee with him. And number one is my dear beloved Albert. Albert did, in fact, become one of my favorite roaches of all time. I put him in a little bottle, gave him a nut, some water, and I had him for a few days. We became really good friends. I even took him on some walks. I put a leash on the, on the bottle, and we went around. We explored the world together. Unfortunately, he did, uh, he did escape. Um, but I still miss him. All right, so a few videos ago, I forget which one it was. I think it was the guy who was robbing stores for a YouTube prank. I talked about how I think we should bring back collective shaming as a society, and I think this TikTok continues my argument for it. I feel like the TV show Hoarders is where we all went wrong. Imagine going back to like the 80s or 90s, or really any period of time before like 2007, and having to explain to a person that the reason you're famous is because you don't clean your room and you allow your house to get in infested with roaches. How do you think that conversation's going? It's Saturday shower day. Time for the weekly shower. Look how hair my good looks. And it's been only about a week. So the hair's looking still pretty good. The beard's a little long, so we're going to shave it today. Don't get too excited. I love my beard, but I guess it's got to go. First things first, though, is we got to go ahead and grab a towel from downstairs. Get a nice, soft, clean towel. I'm feeling clean today. So I got one that's been washed. Well, partner, I have seen that toilet and I can confidently say that that towel is no longer clean. That is now a biological weapon. Anyway, put it down. Next up, we got to go ahead and turn on the water. Now, I do have a question for you guys. What is this in my corner? Like this black stuff. And how do I get rid of it? Is, do I even need to get rid of it? I don't really know much about it. So, um, I don't know. It's just been there for a while. Anyway, I'm clean now. Look how good my hair looks. Also, I grabbed some new jeans from the floor. These are nice and clean. They've been there for about a week, so they're nice and dry. Honestly, I think the most terrifying thing I've seen during this entire video is this man presumably lounging around his house and going straight from the shower into jeans. I don't care how dirty or clean they are, that's a crime. Cleaning my room because my parents are going to kick me out. Now, today's a little more serious than normal. I am going to get evicted if I don't clean this up. My parents saw one of my videos because a family member saw it, and now they want to kick me out of the house. So, this obviously isn't optimal. I'm not sure if he adds things before he starts recording to make it seem worse than it actually is, but this man just has a knife on his floor, about two inches from his foot. I mean, of all the things you don't want on your floor, especially when you can't even see your floor, so you can't even tell where you're walking, a knife is up there, maybe at the top of the list, behind like a used needle. Um, we gotta clean all that stuff up. The rats are looking so cute, though. Also, rate the glow up, guys. How we looking? Oh, and I also got the trash bag, so we're ready to clean. So I'm not able to throw away these bowls into a trash bag because they are, you know, dishes. So I'll have to take those down separately. 
I did find some saltines, which still look good. I will be eating these, no cap. But you know what I won't be eating? This banana peel. This has only been out for a day, and look how rotten it looks. How is that healthy? I don't understand. And this banana, I opened up right before bed, and it already looks like it's diseased. Mr. Envy, I say this with absolutely no sarcasm intended. I would not be surprised if there was a new disease growing in your room, infecting all of your food. I mean, you've got the perfect environment. It's a warm, uh, presumably moist environment with lots of food and germy goodness. You're probably patient zero. I was using my finger to scoop it out and lick it. It was so good. But this mac, I don't know what's growing in it. What is that? It looks like a, it looks like a beetle egg. Like, what's, what, what, what's going on in there? Anyway, I got the trash bag filled. There's still a lot more trash, though. Um, I think my progress will maybe promise my parents. The outdoor sucks. It made me sneeze immediately. Never doing that again. That was such a waste of time. Um, I had to throw away the trash bag, though. It is what it is. But we're going to have to clean the rest tomorrow because I'm... Like, I'm really strong, but I'm really tired from that. This is another TikTok thing that never fails to amaze me when people fall for it. I mean, it's like half of all the TikToks on the platform are obvious bait that nobody can detect. Every single video, this guy cleans up a few things. It says he's too tired or he's done enough for one day. And every single video, the comment section is filled with people saying, you barely even cleaned anything up. What do you mean you're tired? That's not progress. And they don't realize they're being farmed for engagement. Now, I could go on and on about this guy's TikTok page because like, like we've established every single video is the same, but I feel like at a certain point I just kind of start repeating myself and I'm not really adding much new. The main reason I made this video is because it surprised me that this guy is still going. I mean, you've got to remember when this guy started doing this, he was clearly just trying to advertise his Twitch in an unorthodox way, but he doesn't even mention his Twitch anymore or anything about streaming. He has fully just embraced being a person who is famous for being unhygienic and disgusting. It's no longer this is the day in the life of a Roblox streamer, it's look at my horribly disgusting disgusting room, I'm gonna fake clean it. And I just don't get it. I feel like this is right behind committing a terrible crime on the list of the worst reasons to be famous. Well guys, what do you think? How much longer does Mr. Pow Envy have? Okay, well that kind of sounded dark, not what I meant. How much longer do you think people are gonna be entertained by this? I feel like maybe he's got three months. Personally, I feel like he should have stuck with the Roblox streamer stick because then at least he has something to fall back on. A lot of people would have checked out his Twitch if not just out of curiosity, and then people have him on their radar as a Twitch streamer. Right now, all he's doing is advertising himself as a gross individual. Not really the best business plan I've ever heard of, but hey, I guess worse things have worked. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.